Hi, I'm Matt from Intelligel, and how did we end up here? What on earth are we listening to? If you've explored the depths of Cascadia or read the manual, you may have come across the Entropic Sequence Generator, or ESG for short. The ESG generates repeatable random voltage sequences from 1 to 16 steps in length, with variable probability of per step regeneration. Basically, it's an excellent way to quickly generate ideas from random voltage that can cycle indefinitely, evolve over time, or dissolve into complete randomness. So let's reset and go over how it works. The ESG is located in the envelope B section of Cascadia. It's an alternative to the tilting LFO function. So what we'll do is we'll make sure that we're in LFO mode on envelope B and that the secondary switch here is set to either free or sync. It doesn't matter so long as it's not the low frequency vacillator. As you can see from this oscillating LED, we're actually in LFO mode right now. And to switch to ESG, there's two different methods that I'm going to show you. The first method can be done without a computer. I'm going to switch off Cascadia at the back. In the MIDI to CV section, I'm going to hold down the button next to MIDI LFO. And then what I'm going to do whilst I continue to hold that button is switch it back on. And we should see the LED located here flash rapidly. OK, and so now we've enabled the ESG. And I can tell because the LED has stopped oscillating and started stepping between different values. Your other option here is to use the IntelliGel Config app on a computer. If you haven't already, download and install the IntelliGel Config app. I'll link to this in the description. Plug Cascadia into your computer via USB. Open the app and connect to Cascadia. Scroll down until you reach the envelope B section, and then select the LFO shape drop down and choose Entropic Sequence Generator. Now that we've enabled the ESG, let's build up a patch. Let's go over the controls of the ESG. Rise controls the rate of the ESG. In free mode, it directly affects the tempo of the sequence. The push gate and gate sync input act as a sequencer reset. In sync mode, the rise control divides or multiplies from a clock source patched into the gate sync input. And if I take that patch back out, the push gate now acts as a tap tempo. With division and multiplication of the rate. Moving on, full controls the sequencer length. This can be anywhere between 1 and 16 steps long, as we mentioned at the start of this video. So if I pull the full control down to the bottom, we just have the one step. There's the second. The third. The fourth, and so on until we reach 16 steps. So if we listen to this 16 step cycle, you'll hear that it repeats indefinitely. And this is where we move on to our shape control. Shape controls the per step regeneration probability and can be set between 0 and 100%. When set at 0% like it is now, there's no chance that the steps of the sequence will change voltage. And so the loop sequence will remain exactly the same. If we increase the value slightly, you hear some notes start to change. If we increase it further, more and more steps are now changing with each cycle. And then at 100%, the sequence is completely random. So apart from the physical controls here, we also have the ability to patch in modulation to affect these parameters individually. The rise modulation, fall modulation and shape modulation are patched into the different outputs of the LFO section. So if I bring up the rise fader, you can hear the divisions change, or it's probably better heard in free mode. Okay, you get the idea with that one. The next one is fall. This is affecting our sequencer length. 
can hear it going down to one step and then increasing and decreasing again. And then we've got shape finally, which is going to affect our randomness. And then we can mix all three to do some really strange stuff. So this is just one patch example. You can use the ESG output for all kinds of applications such as filter modulation or other timbral controls on Cascadia. Get random, get weird, try out the entropic sequence generator on Cascadia and see what you come up with. Thanks for watching. If you found this tip useful, be sure to like and subscribe for more.